chain triangulation around the building covering a small area. In this video, let us see how a chain triangulation is performed around a building. Let us select a building which the chain triangulation is to be done. Three points A, B, C are fixed and chains are laid between the points such that they form a equilateral triangle. Chain line AB parallel to one side of the building is selected. Place a cross staff at one corner of the building and take perpendicular offset. The offset lies at a point A dash. Measure the distance of the offset and note it in the field book. Again, place a cross staff at another end of the building and take perpendicular offset B dash. Measure the distance and note it in the field book. Two arrows D, F are fixed at a distance of 10 meter from both the ends of the AB chain line. The total length of the chain AB is 80 meter. Measure distance between AD, AA dash, AB dash and AF. We get 10 meter, 25 meter, 65 meter and 70 meter respectively. Perpendicular offsets are taken from three corners of the building which lies at C dash, D dash and E dash on chain BC. Length of the offsets are measured and noted in the field book. Two arrows J and G are fixed at a distance of 10 meter from two ends of the chain. The length of BC is 80 meter. The distance of BG, BC dash, BD dash, BE dash, and CJ are measured as 10 meter, 21 meter, 35 meter. 10 meter respectively. Select chain line AC perpendicular offset is taken from corner of the building and the offset point lies at F dash. The distance is measured and noted in the field book. Two arrows I and E are fixed at a distance of 10 meter from two ends of the chain. The length of the baseline CA is 80 meter. Measure a distance between CI, CF dash and CE. We get 10 meter, 40 meter and 70 meter respectively. Top view of building with chain lines are shown. The lines DE, IJ and GF are checked lines and the length of these lines are measured as 10 meter. After field work, the measured distances are scaled and plotted in the drawing sheet. Join all the offset points to get the actual shape of the building. The length of the checked lines are then measured. Check the measured distance with field measurements for accuracy of the framework. 